Welcome back. An epidemic is both a medical and a uh, social occurrence. Medically, medically, it is the appearance of a serious, often fatal disease in numbers far greater than normal. Socially, it is an event that disrupts the life of community and causes uncertainty, fear, blame, and uh, uh, flight. The acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or AIDS, is one of those diseases which have a strong social impact on both the patient, his family, and his community. And joining us this morning are two uh, students from the Faculty of Medicine, uh, Pasant Ashraf, thank you for being with us. Thank you. And also Hisham Hamad, who were part or who participated recently in a conference that was held under the office of, of Cairo University uh, to tackle this issue or the uh, problem of AIDS, the disease of AIDS. So um, let's start with our discussion, uh, our discussion with you this morning. Hello and welcome. Hello. First of all, let me ask you about the conference that was held recently in the Cairo University, uh, the impact of AIDS and uh, why did you select uh, this uh, topic in particular to be one of the main uh, issues to be discussed on this conference? Because uh, we in Student Scientific Society have a special committee that uh, in it's made for the reproductive health and, and AIDS especially. Okay, if I Every year, we have a special uh, project about AIDS, and this year, um, it's formed of uh, uh, some campaigns that we ended with a seminar about AIDS, and also uh, we made trainings for the people living with HIV to uh, to help them, you know, to empower them, um, and and um, and teach them some craft that may um, get benefit from from it in their life. So to brief things, the campaign is about to, to tell people about HIV AIDS, uh, misconception about the disease in the community. People look to the disease and put the people living with it in a stigma, and this put the physical, social, psychological, and emotional uh, burden on the people that have the disease. So we try to improve the, the perception of people to the HIV AIDS. That's a part of it. Plus, we want to aware people more about some uh, points in the disease, like the mood of transmission, how uh, they could protect themselves, how uh, the people with HIV AIDS live, and what is the problem they, they, uh, they live with throughout the disease. Okay. Uh, people deal with AIDS not uh, the way they are dealing with any other disease, because uh, of myths related basically to the way it was transmitted or it is transmitted. So um, at the beginning, do you need to clarify? Uh, the fact that it is like any other disease that patients they don't have a hand in yes. how it was transmitted. Yes, I true. Mean this is a huge misconception in this point that I the HIV is transmitted in the same way the hepatitis B virus is transmitted. So if you look at hepatitis B virus patients, people have sympathy with him. On the other hand, HIV virus is put in this the frame of a stigma. The frame is he's uh, punished by God and we should uh, stop dealing with him. That's a very wrong way of treating the patient. Actually, we, we change from fighting the virus into fighting the patient, which, which is against all the, the, the common sense of humanity. The patient already have his physical problems due to the disease, have emotional and psychological problems, psychological problems due to the, the burden the disease bother him, and the community also add more burden into the issue by trying to frame him and isolate him and uh, treating him and mistreating him actually. And still people him. continue with this, I mean, with the, is it just a rumor? Or w why did they take this idea about the disease? They think that the only way of transmission is the sexual relationship. Or, or drugs, drug addiction yeah. or? Yeah, actually this is true. Sexual relationships and, and uh, sharing needles is um, a ways of transmission. Okay, but they are not the only ways of transmission. There are other ways. Yeah, yeah. it can be transmitted from the mother to her to her baby during um, during delivery or through breastfeeding. It can be transmitted also through um, uh, the blood transfusion without without a screening. Without screening of the blood, can be uh, transmitted to other people. But also, we should concentrate on um, that. Uh, yani having a, a very uh, um, different ways of transmission doesn't give us uh, 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 the right to, to, d to judge people, to judge people 
I don't have the right to judge them how they got infected with the virus. Even though if, uh, if they got the virus through a relationship or whatever, it may be through marriage. And, um, and um, giving uh, uh, the right uh, uh, to the people living with HIV to live with, uh, with, um, with dignity in their society helps us to break the cycle of transmission. It's a way of protecting the community. I think this is one of the most important points in, in the, the taboo of HIV, that people always reflect it to the sexual relations. But the problem is, if we, if we do that, we, we neglect the other ways of transmission, and people only focus on that, and this may increase the risks of HIV. That's one okay. point. A other point that is, it's against the, hum, the, the basic human uh, rights is to uh, judge people who are diseased with the way they got the disease and then um, uh, dealing with them in, in a way them more worse because they got the disease. They, 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 they have a disease that should be treated. They, ha they should have sympathy, they should uh, be, um, get some care, medical care and care from the society because there are a lot of incidents that has to do nothing with, with the sexual transmission and there are a lot of people who have too much problem in the community like Basant was saying there are people who get the disease from their marriage one of the partner gets them from anywhere and from a legal marriage he or she gets infected and we if we always put this taboo of that the, the only way of transmission is illegal sexual uh, sub, what what we are doing to this person we are putting a lot of problem in his life that he has Maybe nothing to do with is, it. This is one of the main issues, uh, I don't know, but I think the main problem is that the main campaign that used to be uh, used in the past was focusing on this. I mean, this was produced by the Ministry of uh, Medicine, for example, or Health. So I think this is uh, not the issue of the people as much as it is the issue that was issued or <laughs> mentioned Previously. That's one of the problems. Uh, like we, we were speaking in for about this uh, from uh, half an hour or something. This, the source yes. who told people this, the, the main source. There is a number of, 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 um, of parts of it, like the disease itself was discovered in 1981, which is recent. So uh, in the first few years, it's, it's uh, somehow understandable that the people get some wrong ideas about the disease. But we should make it um, more clear to them how, how the disease Because if you mentioned wrong ideas, you have, you cannot mention it like this because the Ministry of Health uh, made this campaign to combat that disease years ago and they put it just like this on all TV channels, local TV channels. So to change this, you cannot say that they, this was their own mistake. We have to work on something else because you know the Egyptians, they have, they are very special in, uh, in something like this. There are some efforts in this, uh, in this occasion, like the recently, um, two weeks or the, the last month, there was a, 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 some way of cooperation between Castro uh, School of Medicine, the Dean of Medicine, Dr. Hussein Khairi, and some of the UN organization to start a campaign in, 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 in all the doctors in Castro in, in in Aini, medical students and all of them, to aware them better about the HIV so they could treat uh, patients better. Because it's one of the major problems in HIV patients too, it's not about only the community, it's about also doctors who mistreat the patients, who refuse to, to do surgical procedures and uh, treat them while they are in, in urgent need for it because they have HIV. So with a recent cooperation between Australian School of Medicine and uh, UNAID, UNDB and other UN uh, agencies to improve the, the situation of how doctors uh, uh, well, maybe to launch another campaign to improve the image. We need a lot of campaigns in this. Okay. Uh, this uh, as far as I know, uh, the uh, time span from the onset of the uh, HIV virus to the development of AIDS could extend to up to 10 or 15 years. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, do, uh, do your efforts include attempts to help the patient integrate in society and lead a normal life among his family, uh, colleagues and friends in society? Yes, as I told you at the beginning, Part of our project this year is about empowering the people living with HIV and teach them some, uh, some crafts and uh, give them some trainings about soft skills and business management that help them in their life. Uh, we're like uh, uh, starting a, a career that, uh, that's related to them and, 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 and they can get income from it. Because it's also one of the problems that face people living with HIV, they cannot find a, a job. A in, job. In, in, uh, if they hide the disease, they might get a job, but if they say they have the disease, they most probably they will be fired from the job. 
So we, we try to, to make them learn about some crafts, some hand skills, and make some products. We try to market but for this product. But why they are going to be fired? I mean, it's it's against all the human rules. But this has what happened. How how will this harm the person if he's working, for example? What is the relation? It is just because. It's, it's because, because, because of the stigma and the society and misconceptions can, society can people be affected with this i mean you know usually the the nature of the egyptian person they are scared whenever they find they find someone who is uh, with any disease they believe even though if they if they cannot be affected still they are scared can it be transmitted it's, like it's, this it's from it's dealing the, the daily dealing no, no 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 it can't but it, if they, they are not that scared I, I will tell you like if a person have an hcv or hbv I, I check his hand, I, I kiss him, it's no problem. If people have, if a person have HIV, most of the people get afraid from checking hands or kissing. Both of them, the HCV and the hepatitis, are not transmitted by checking hands. It's not about... So what is the problem about working, for example? It's about the taboo we put on HIV. That it's, the, the person is, um, uh, is um, like, uh, the God have put this disease in him and we should stay away from him and should let him to die. That's a problem that we have always put the, the, the concept of that the HIV is transmitted through illegal sexual relations. So it's a power that uh, God have punished him and I should not uh, treat him anymore. And there is a lot of misconception about how the disease transmit. So people think sometimes it's transmitted from handshaking, kissing or other ways. It's completely untrue. It's restricted to few ways of transmission including sharing needles, uh, blood transfusion from mother to son, and sexual relations. It's not very wide, it's not transmitted by handshaking, by kissing or something. And it's also, the virus is very weak. Like, for example, if someone uh, gets a needle and lifts it in air for a minute or so, if someone injects himself with the same needle again, he's not transmit, he's, the virus cannot transmit. He, he dies for in seconds in the open air. Okay. The problem is, is that uh, the, the people not know much about how all this information and the, as you say the, the problem of the, the, the information transmitted to them before about only this way that's the problem we are I think facing. all problems encountering uh, an AIDS a patient was summed up in a beautiful movie that I saw recently called Asma starring um, Hind um, Sabri um, is it true one of the solutions that uh, were give, was given to her were, that were given to her was the fact that she joined a group session, a group, thera a group therapy. Uh, do you offer such um, a therapy for AIDS patients? Or do you have an idea that um, um, an institution or center offered this kind of help? A lot of AIDS NGOs patients. here in Egypt um, make support groups for them and give them sessions how they can deal with, the, w with people, how they can um, uh, uh, sessions about, about uh, uh, the nature of the disease and the virus how they can protect to the others, um, about uh, how they can get uh, their, their uh, treatment. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, NGOs here in Egypt that do this, but we still need a, a lot and a lot of this and still need uh, something offered um, <coughs> uh, from, from the government. The governmental things give trust to, to things um, more than the, the, the non-governmental. Did I you think. contact, for example, the ministry or the government in general for another campaign or how to, to solve such um, problem? Um, I don't think they will be much interested in, 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 in this point Why? Uh, right now. Uh, it's, 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 it's according to too to many points, but the main point that it it's better to keep, uh, like we are in our society, like more to keep things away from politics. So we have something, we, we do most of our projects, the campaigns, in, in, a, in, in a theme that we are non-political, non-religious, and non-profitable. And we like to keep it like this. Because if we get into um, the, the field of politics, it will have so much more uh, points pertained in this, in this, uh, in this campaign, other than the, the, the basic things that are helping the people, uh, awareing the community, and uh, trying to make them uh, living better. So uh, I don't think the government have, have a role in, uh, um, in making an environment, an atmosphere that help uh, achieving the goals of uh, integrating people with HIV AIDS and making them live a, a better life. But to, to have a combined, pro a combined campaign with the government, it should be initiated from the government itself if it has the will to do so. Do you have accurate statistics as to how many AIDS patients we have here in Egypt? Unfortunately, no. 
uh, the, the, there is no 100% accurate statistics in Egypt. The you government... Basically to the stigma related to this. Yes, this is a huge problem also because people do not go to test, sometimes people do not go to test themselves. They want to know, they, have a, they, would, they would rather die not knowing rather than knowing that they have a disease. So the, the numbers that are mean the, between national and international statistics is that we have al around 11,000 people in Egypt having HIV. But that's a, a very low. That's a very low, but the, most of the... So the exit number, exactly. we have a problem in reporting the, the cases and we have problem in testing. What about the treatment? Is it expensive or... Uh, the treatment is offered by the government for free. By government and NGOs for free. So is, and the, the, the basic rule of treatment is that it, it, it increases the span of something between something called HIV and AIDS, and this is a point not of all of people know about it. The, 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 the new um, approach in the world, they, they do not call it AIDS, they call it HIV, because there is a stage from HIV to AIDS. HIV is just infecting it's with the virus. virus. Yes, and AIDS is the last stage where a certain number of, of white blood cells decrease, uh, it's called CD4 cells, decrease below a certain uh, number what in the body. What about the case in Egypt? It differed, differed. Like the yesterday, last um, two days ago, Dr. Ahmed Khamis was telling us there is a case that have living for 17 years now in HIV, didn't get an AIDS yet, which is still pretty much living a normal life without getting infections and uh, the, the the hazards of having an AIDS uh, an AIDS case. So we yes, we we will get to some uh, uh, treatments and we, we live a better life if they get treated, if they get uh, know early about the disease and it, this last step is a community integrate them in the community, community be willing to deal with them to, to decrease the burden that, uh, that the, the disease itself uh, put on them. Okay, unfortunately our time is up. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Basant uh, Ashraf thank and Tishan Mohammed, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. On to this, we come to the end of our breakfast show for today. Thank you all for joining us. Remember to join us again tomorrow, same time, on more on the breakfast.